I think Newton's mathematical approach changed in the course of his life. In the early years, in the early 1660s, he's engaged in very fruitful discovery. He's following up leads wherever they take him, really. Some of those leads take him into algebraic theories, like the theory of infinite series. They take him into the calculus. All of this is, is profoundly new and exciting, and Newton simply goes with it. Later in his life, he began to become much more rigid about the kind of mathematics that he thought was proper. And he thought the proper kind of mathematics was classical, geometric mathematics based on Euclid, Apollonius, Archimedes. And he said over and over again that geometry was the proper kind of mathematics. And yet in his early days, he'd used algebra, the new kind of analysis, as he might have called it, very effectively and very in very important ways. Later it was as though he wanted to turn his back on that and claim that there was a different way of doing things. But he couldn't really close the door on what he had done and actually he had changed mathematics by what he did in the 1660s.